this city was a kingdom. Hey, what is up to all my people? This is Gang X Star here, and today we're gonna have top five video game physics videos that are pretty funny to me. So I'm gonna recommend them to you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. So number five, guys, we have Ark Survival Evolved, and as you guys can tell, Ark Survival Evolved is a pretty glitchy game. Definitely with those sandbox survival type open world games, you're definitely going to have something crazy going on. And of course, this video completely shows and demonstrates that. Watch. So as you can see guys, he, you know, it's something as simple as hitting something with an axe and the thing went absolutely fucking batshit crazy just flying across the entire fucking map. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know why, but it's always priceless for me whenever like, you know, the ragdoll physics engine just shits itself and it just spasms like it's on like 400 pounds of Adderall or some shit. Or is Adderall fucking stimulant? I'm not sure. And over for number two, guys, we got Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 is another glitchy game. It is known for its very incredibly funny glitches, including one I get to recommend to you guys. There's something called the wagon glitch, if you just search it up. But if you're too lazy for that shit like me, you know, because I'm always kind of fucking lazy, you can just go out, you know, yourself, find a, um, spawn a wagon with a cheat engine, and it has to be one of the wagons with the two horses, okay? And then what you have to do is find an explosion, like have explosive arrows and then blow up killing both horses and at the same time after doing that immediately dive into the wagon it will shit itself it may not happen as much but believe me when it fucking happens it happens okay <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry guys, now that that's over with, we're going to be looking at a Red Dead Redemption 2 glitch. Now this Red Dead Redemption 2 glitch, guys, says taking the scenic ro route, and you probably know how ironic that already sounds. Let's take a look into it, guys. As you can see, guys, you, you know, something as simple as fucking riding your wagon <laughs> through, through ground manages to materialize the fucking wagon and propel you into, like, the fifth dimension. The, only games can do that, okay? Uh, like, nothing else can really do that. Like, only video games and uh, specifically open, <laughs> open world games like this. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 has always been a great example of having all these fun glitches guys it is also an incredible open world and i highly recommend playing it it is just you know complete absolute quality guys it, it is just fucking insane fucking insane game lovely five out of five now the next one guys you might like is assassin's creed 3 now of course, I have to give a little bit of a history on this one because the Ubisoft games have always been famous for its glitches and both infamous for its glitches as well. It both shows an example of a not as qualified polished game, both resembling something being funny and something being downright frustrating and kind of upsetting, well, because it's not really that polished. Well, of course, one of the big infamous Goliaths of this shit is fucking Assassin's Creed 3 and I want you to take a look at this I'm pretty sure whatever it is. It's gonna be funny <laughs> Now this one wasn't as exactly as funny guys, more a little bit more downward frustrating like I said mentioned before. Just you know having your horse you know ride around under the ground and sometimes it can be funny like you know Red Dead 2 and stuff because it gets a laugh out of you but this, it kinda looks frustrating. Honestly, I mean, th then again, you know, like I said, Ubisoft games are completely infamous for this type of shit. So, I mean, yeah, this one is kind of a mixed bag. Uh, it gave me a little bit of chuckles a 
here and now there i mean his his horse is literally phasing to the ground but you know that that probably is a game breaking glitch you probably can't even get off the horse or something and you probably have to restart the game or whatever and do all this shit and, and you know us gamers don't want to go through the fucking hassle come on man come on ubisoft let's hope assassin's creed ragnarok is good because i am actually excited about that one next one that is up is last of us 2 for number four now i'm not sure what praise the gun is called and i'm kind of entering this with a empty open mind so i guess let's check it out Okay, that was absolutely creepy. <laughs> um, this, yeah, that's a pretty common glitch overall. When, sometimes you shoot people in games and they just like start phasing through shit and either the ragdoll starts spazzing out or they do just weird shit because, you know, the, the ragdoll can't really handle being phased in through these items and shit. I mean, <laughs> there's not much I can say about this one, but uh, we're moving on to number five. Last one. And number five, guys, we have Far Cry 5. Watch what happens when somebody literally tries to get off a fucking car, of course. You're going to see a lot of Ubisoft titles in this series, of course, where I'll probably be doing more um, game physics type videos. I'll definitely link them all down in the description below. Don't worry about that. But honestly, I think this one's just the most, you know, what makes game physics so damn entertaining. Watch for yourself. So yeah, that's like the best that really just makes up what, you know, our Ubisoft or EA titles. I mean, you're going to see glitches as the norm, but honestly, that was really entertaining. <laughs> And I really liked the part where, like, the car ejected the human in the end. <laughs> I honestly thought that was really priceless. But, yeah, further ado, guys, this is the end of the video. And I'm sad to see you all go, but if there's anyone out there, really. But whatever. See you, guys.